Hey guys, it's Izzy's Amazing Life and Happy New Year! Okay, had to say that. We're done with 2020, guys. 2020 is over! 2020 is over! Ah! Okay, um, so we're done with 2020. Uh, and today, to celebrate that, I will be doing the New Year's Tag. This was created by Alley Cat Loves AG. Um, I've done one of her tags before, I think. I can't remember which one, but it will appear later in the video, so yeah. Oh, it wasn't a tag, it was one of her series. So I'm still figuring out my new lighting, but I got a ring light. So, I got a ring light for Christmas, so I'm still figuring that out, but it is definitely brighter than usual, so I hope you guys like that. And the New Year's tag is a series of questions. There are ten questions, and they are just things about your analytics for this year, um, and your, like, people you subscribe to, and just a bunch of stuff. Lessons you've learned about 2020. So, let's get in, actually no, let's not get into it quite yet. I am rambling. Oh yeah, the questions will be down below in the description, and also the um, channel Alley Cat Loves AG will be linked down below, and her video where she did the New Year's tag will be linked, as well as any of these people. So, the, any of the channels mentioned will also be linked down below, and if they do the New Year's tag, then I will also link that. Keep in mind, I am filming this on, um, Tuesday of, so the Tuesday before today, so it is not technically New Year's yet, so some people will probably not have the tag posted if they are doing it, so if I didn't give credit for the tag, I'm sorry, um, but if I name your channel in this video and I link your channel down below if you do the tag I will also link that down below so now that I'm done rambling and hopefully some of you guys are still here um let's get into the video so the first question is how many subscribers have you gained this year so I have been avoiding saying this I've said I reached a milestone well I guess it's a milestone I reached 53 subscribers this year so I started this channel in 2020 in March like, right when quarantine was starting. So, yeah, I gained 53 subscribers this year. Um, and there will be a fun video coming out about that soon, and a celebration of what we're going to do for that. The next question, question two, is how many videos did you post this year? I posted 63 videos this year. So the next question is... Um, what's your most viewed video of 2020? So, my most viewed video of 2020 is something I expected. It is review and unboxing of Girl of the Year 2020, Joss Kendrick, Meet Jocelyn. Wow, that's a keyword-filled title. Um, I, I didn't even mean that. I just wanted it to be a review, too. So, I was like, review and unboxing. But that's a really keyword-filled keyword title, I just realized. Um, but that one is definitely my most viewed, and I mean, for good reason. People search that more than anything this year, probably. Um, so number four is, who are three AG tubers you've subscribed to in 2020? So the first one is Alley Cat Loves AG. Um, if you are watching this, think, can you please comment, Alley? That would be awesome, and maybe subscribe. Um, that would be amazing. Um, she, so yeah, if you were watching this, please, that would be awesome if you subscribed. It would literally make my day. It would be amazing. You are one of my favorite AG tubers out there right now. Um, so she posts very aesthetic videos. She uploads frequently. She has interesting videos, and she posts all different types of videos. I was trying to find kind of her niche besides AG tube lifestyle type videos but I honestly couldn't so I feel like that's almost a good thing it is a good thing 
because she has a bunch of different search terms and everything that she... If you search something, there's a good chance that her video will pop up. So, the next channel is Lynn Life, and I have literally been obsessed with her channel. She said this in their, her video too, but I've been obsessed with her channel. I love her channel so much. Um, she uploads frequently. She has interesting videos, and she does a lot of rant videos and unboxings, which are two of my favorite types of videos, especially the rant ones. Um, and I just love her channel so much. She just reached 1,000 subscribers, actually, so that's really cool. Um, and then the last channel is Doll Studio 9 So she is a much smaller channel. She has about 66 subscribers, I think. Um... She posts very frequently. Um, yeah, they post very frequently. And there's many, many videos on that channel. They have fun videos and topics. So I saw one that was like a snow day AGSM. Sorry if the scenes cut together. Uh, my older sister came in here for a second. Um, so... She has very fun videos and topics, like I said, the Snow Day AGSM, and there she does photo contests, and they do um, AGSMs, like I said. So, number five is, what was your biggest accomplishment of 2020 on AGTube? So, my biggest accomplishment of 2020 on AGTube was definitely hitting 50 subscribers. I am amazed that I actually hit that. Um... Number six is, what was your favorite video of 2020? So my favorite video to make in 2020 was my thank you for 25 subscribers video because I was just astonished that that, like, actually happened. Um, it, but my favorite video of 2020 in terms of how it turned out is 10 Fun Facts About Pearl. Uh, and that's the video I was talking about that I kind of took from Ally Cat Loves AG, which I did give you full credit. If you're watching this, I gave you full credit, and I, um... Also, linked your channel down below in the description, so don't worry. Credit was given. Um, not that it really matters, because I'm, like, a super small channel, but... <laughs> so, now is... Yeah, I just, like... I need to stop rambling, but... I liked that video because it was more concise than most of my videos, and I just was really happy with how it turned out. And it's my most recent video, and I had a thumbnail on it, and I was very happy with it. So, number seven is my YouTube goal for 2021. So, my YouTube goal for 2021 is to get to 100 subscribers. Um, I think I can do that. Uh, if I get five subscribers every month, then I will definitely get there. Based on, you know, the math. <laughs> um, so I'm really hoping to get to 100 subscribers by the end of 2021. So... Number eight is, what is your next YouTube purchase going to be? Um, so I don't really have any purchases really in line for YouTube at the moment. Um, I'm sticking to, if you count doll collecting as a YouTube purchase, since I have an AG YouTube channel, then I guess that counts. Oh, speaking of doll collecting, this is a doll that my sister got for me for Christmas. Um... And I literally have not said that this is a new doll. Yeah, this is a new doll. Um, her name is Aubrey. She is has probably taken the spot of my prettiest doll. I gotta say, I love her a lot. You can't really see her full beauty on the camera because the ring light is so bright. Um, hold on, let me... No, I'm not gonna turn it off. I'll do that at the end of the video. Maybe. No, I won't. <laughs> um... But the ring light is making her look a lot prettier off camera, but on camera it's making her look more washed out. Um, but she is really, really pretty. Sorry, it's the morning, guys. Um, <laughs> but since I got this ring light for Christmas, I'm not exactly sure what my next YouTube purchase is going to be. Um, because that's the only thing I was really wanting at the moment. But if you count, since I have an AG YouTube channel, if you count doll collecting purchases as a YouTube purchase than, uh, dolls. <laughs> so, the next one is, who will your next doll be? So, here's the tea. So, <laughs> I already ordered my next doll. Um, and 
it's a secret who it is. So this doll is um, coming, it's supposed to come on January 11th, but uh, knowing American Girl, I'm going to stick it out for a month and then maybe say something, but I'm going to stick it out for a month. I ordered on Christmas with my Christmas money, so I'm going to stick it out until January 25th. Um, and then the doll video unboxing will probably be around February, so it'll probably be around the beginning of February or the end of January. So the last question is, what is the biggest YouTube lesson you learned in 2020? So the biggest YouTube lesson I learned in 2020 is that sometimes you get bored with YouTube. Like, I love YouTube, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I went into it thinking I'm literally going to have fun with this all the time, and that's going to be that, and it's just going to be fun all the time. I'm going to post every Tuesday, every Friday. I'm going to be on top of things all the time. I'm going to film, like, three videos in one day. This is going to be amazing. For one, I don't even have space on my phone to film three videos in one day. That's not going to work. I have to edit them and export them, too. That's not going to work. Um, and for two, I can get bored with it. It's, it's sometimes stressful to do the photo contest. I know I probably sound like, it's sometimes stressful. What in the world? You're such a baby, but I'm not. No, it's stressful to eliminate people, especially because all the people in my photo contest, I know personally. So it's very difficult because I have to go see these people after I eliminate them, after they work really hard on their photo. And it, it's, it doesn't, it's not fun sometimes to do the photo contest. And also the editing is a lot with those, but... It's stuff I'm not used to. I only do editing a bunch on Tuesdays. So that is a lot. But that's why I've been trying to advance film. And I actually did take an early Christmas break because of this. That's why a lot of times I don't have my videos up. Because I get bored with things so easily. Um, so that's definitely the biggest lesson I've learned. It's not always completely fun. Okay, sorry I've rambled so much. The video's over. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Now I'm gonna turn off this light. Nope, that's a lot worse. Okay, uh... Here we go. Okay, so that was a lot worse. Um... I'm gonna try to... Move the light... Can you guys see a little better now? I think this is a lot better. Um, you can't see her freckles very good, but this is a lot better. But she is like quickly becoming my favorite doll. Um, I also made her personality very... If you guys have what, if, okay, if, this is my best way to describe her personality. If you guys have read Dork Diaries, she's Brianna. But, but worse. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And she is a ballet doll. So I'm very happy about that. So, I'm gonna, I, I'm out now. I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Um, because that's been done for a minute. And it's eggs. It's getting cold. Um, bye guys from... Izzy's Amazing Life!